It's been interesting. In a lot of ways, it's been a blessing. During a year when the Wiper Lake Historical Society celebrates 50 years in operation, it's making history by departing from convention. Over the, the, the anniversary weekend, um, we have the, from the 25th to the 27th, we have 50 hours of um, different segments. So one released each hour, 50 different topics on local history or how to preserve your photographs or, you know, the Philip Brown house or whatever. Um, some are live, some are pre-recorded, uh, and they kind of, they, they certainly aren't the, the comprehensive history of the area, but they're little snippets of each, you know, many of the different things that are out there. If it sounds ambitious, it is but the planning committee was forced to change their course of action due to COVID. Paths typically traveled, like a tour of the Philip Brown House on Lake Avenue, must be done virtually. We will be on site for a few of the segments. Um, we'll be actually be doing an interactive tour of the Philip Brown, where almost like a Facebook Live or a, a you know chat kind of thing, where we can um, be in the house. We'll give start the regular tour, and then as we go, people can ask questions like they would if they were on the tour. Sarah Hansen, executive director of the White Bear Lake Historical Society, says although there's a lot of technical elements involved in a virtual celebration, their goal is to make it simple. It's all based off of our website. So what we'll be doing is actually recording things on Zoom or launching them on Zoom, and then broadcasting them out through YouTube and our Facebook page. And so you can hit it through Facebook. You can. Google or you can search for things on YouTube if you want, but you can simply go to our website, which is wiperhistory.org. There'll be a big banner that you can click on for the 50th, and then you click on whichever story you want to hear. Though participants will miss out on the sensory experience of an in-person tour, Hansen says one advantage of being virtual is reaching a broader audience. And since the Philip Brown House has been closed this year, the Historical Society is hoping to raise $50,000 to offset lost revenue as well as accommodate changes in an uncertain climate, hoping to ensure another 50 years of historical preservation. There's just a really solid sense of place to White Bear and, and the area all around the lake. I mean, not just White Bear proper, if you will, uh, but just this community as a whole. There's a, there's a sense of pride, there's a sense of place. I think that's typical in Minnesota in general, but we're sort of like the, the epitome of it here in White Bear, for better or worse. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, you know, we have all the bear statues, all the decals, all the other things, um, and, and we help celebrate that through the different programming we do.